Hello, it is Monday, February 14th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday puzzle, so it should be, should be fairly easy, straightforward. We will have a theme, probably a relatively straightforward one. And I would like to thank a few people for bringing us this edition of the Daily Solve. Today's, today's video is brought to you by Michael H., Joe Percy, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for helping make this series sustainable. I very much appreciate it. If you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get access to this recognition, as well as the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video. But also if you back at any level, if you contribute any uh, at any tier of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, you do get access to all of the uh, bonus videos that have gone up on that channel to date, as well as all the new ones that go up each week and access to the additional channel in the Daily Solve Discord chat server. And I noticed there's a new acrostic that's gone up on the New York Times website, so I'll probably be doing that for the channel because I have enjoyed I have enjoyed getting better at those. So uh, we'll give that a shot. See if I can see if I can improve a little bit. I still find them tricky. Okay. All that said, let's let's solve today's puzzle, the Monday puzzle. This is, of course, a puzzle constructed by Alan Siegel. This is uh, Alan's def- um, debut construction, it seems. So yet another debut constructor. We've had quite a few uh, recently, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get going. Okay. Genre for the boy band BTS. This, uh, couldn't tell you any of their songs, but I do know that, that this is a Korean band, so K-pop is the genre, I suppose. And army uniform material is khaki, like pastels compared to primary colors. They are paler, I guess. They're more pale pastels. Missouri's Blank Mountains. So the Ozark Mountains, right? And 13 Across, a befuddled state is a haze. And uh, if one's set, hair is set in waves, it is permed, uh, permanent. There we go. What about this? Morning waker up an alarm clock. I was not a fan of my alarm clock this morning, um, but it did wake me up. Skirt length that ends mid-calf. Oh, is this a midi? Let's see here. Peeved is irked and blank the frog is Kermit the frog. And Baghdad currency dinar. So this does look correct, doesn't it, MIDI? And music's Lil Blank X, another case I couldn't necessarily tell you um, any of this person's music, but I certainly have heard of Lil Nas X. Is Lil Nas X Old Town Road? I think that's a song that apparently is, com- is that, or is that someone else? I don't know. I shouldn't, I shouldn't try and talk about any of these things. I don't even actually know that song, but I know that it was totally ubiquitous for, I don't know, a year or so. Um, But the reason I should stop talking about it is because the the more I say, the more likely I am to get something wrong and then people are going to correct me about it, which is fine. They should correct me when I, when I get things wrong, but you don't get corrected if you don't say the thing. Okay. Part of a play, an act of a play, of course, nut from an oak is an acorn and blank tear athletes injury, ACL tear, ACL tendon. And palm that yields deep purple fruit. Here it is. It's the old classic from the crossword, the acai berry. And a receptacle into which a quill is dipped is an ink pot. Cask makers are coopers. That's the uh, someone who makes barrels, a cooper. I suppose, like many surnames, people with the surname Cooper probably descend from someone who was a cooper. Okay, vigor is pep, vigor, energy, pep. And if something is rainbow-shaped, it is arced. A step counter is a pedometer. Counts the number of steps you take. And blank, (laughs) this is funny, blank, walsy, chummy, pal, walsy, I guess, palsy, palsy, walsy, chummy, fair enough. I wonder if that's been, well, no, I was going to say, I wonder if this has been in the crossword before, but it, it surely has, at the very least, with the meaning palsy is in cerebral palsy, for instance. Um, so never mind. <laughs> I wonder if palsy wowsy in this particular context, I wonder if this is a debut for the crossword. I don't know. Furthermore is also, and command accompanying a pounding gavel could be order, could be a judge calling for order in the courtroom. 
skin art in brief could be tat. And in brief means we're going to, well, it usually means we're going to abbreviate the answer. So rather than tattoo, it is tat, a briefer version. And to handle roughly, to maim, perhaps? Let's check the crosses on that. Upstate New York City. Oh, no, it's not maim. Mall, maybe, which I suppose is pretty similar to maim. But this upstate New York City could be Utica. And driver's licenses and such are IDs. We didn't have any indication about a uh, an abbreviation here in the clue, but I think ID is a common enough word in its own right that we don't necessarily need that. So-so grade is a C, and here we will phonetically spell out the letter C, the grade. Body spray brand is Axe Body Spray. It's advertised hugely, I don't know, a decade or two ago, I think. I don't see it as much these days. Trove of business contacts, a Rolodex, a sort of, I guess, outdated form of um, office organization. There's the Rolodex cards that would flip, flip through us on a spindle. Shoe sometimes called a spike heel, a stiletto, stiletto heel named for the knife stiletto. Rotating barbecue rod is a spit. You could rotate meat around a spit, usually a whole animal, I suppose. Answer to Gollum's riddle in The Hobbit. This thing all things devours. Birds, beast, trees, flowers. Um, I don't actually know this, but I'm wondering if it's time. I mean, it seems like that would be a plausible answer in four letters starting with T. I mean, everything is subject to time, so you could say that all things devour time. Maybe that's the answer. We'll have to check. To turn on an axis, axis is to pivot. Ugh. A spit may pivot, I suppose. Um, terrible czar, Ivan the Terrible. And a publicist concern is image. And Pavarotti's vocal range is a tenor. Pavarotti was one of the four tenors, famously. And the one for Starbucks shows a two-tailed mermaid. Uh, the Starbucks logo. You should look up the history of the Starbucks logo. It's interesting. It started out as essentially a full-on illustration of the mermaid and now has become, I mean, it's still an illustration, but it's but it, but it's now much more of a sort of graphical um a graphical simplification of the mermaid shape, but it was much more explicit originally. And it looks like we've confirmed time. The Gollum's riddle, this thing all things devours, birds, beasts, trees, flowers, is time. So there we have it. And what else? Orienteering aid is a compass. And a 5G regulating organization. Um, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, I believe. Friend or blank, friend or foe. A reaction to fireworks. It could be, ooh, ooh, fireworks. A moody music genre. Emo for emotional music. Singing group often in robes. Could be a choir. Could be a church choir in robes. Apt infographic for showing a bakery's sales of pie chart. So, sorry, it just occurred to me. Do we, what is the, um, is the theme tools? We have alarm clock. Compass, Rolodex, pedometer. Is that the theme? They're sort of in the location that theme answers tend to be. They sort of often are roughly distributed in, in this sort of general pattern. But what is the theme? I don't know. We, we might have to wait for, an, for a revealer. Okay. Wise one in Star Wars is Yoda, Master Yoda from, from The Empire Strikes Back. And Woody's folk singer son is... Arlo, so Woody Guthrie and son Arlo Guthrie. Um, help, helper for Santa is an elf. Upbeat and cheerful is perky, maybe? Let's check the crosses on that. To perform surgery is to operate, yes. And a rowing implement is an oar. You could row with an oar in a rowboat. Um, yeah, this does look like perky, upbeat, and cheerful. So what about this? Single serving coffee pod. Oh, K, is it K cup? Or is that what it is? I think. Is it Keurig? Keurig, the company that makes these? I think that's the case. Let's check the crosses. Cocktail favored by Carrie Bradshaw and Sex in the City. <laughs> Yet another thing in this puzzle. I don't know firsthand, but I know sort of by osmosis and reputation. Um, I have not seen Sex in the City, but I'm pretty certain that the Cosmo, the Cosmopolitan cocktail, had a resurgence in popularity because of its presence on this show. So I think it's a Cosmo. And hello is what? What is that? You there or something? I'm not, it doesn't look like a you would 
work after another U. Yo could be yo something. Um, I don't know. Let's look elsewhere. Largest inland city in California. Oh, um, is it Fresno? I wouldn't have known that fact, but with the F fitting in six letters, I'm wondering if maybe it is. What many a home movie was once shot on camcorder. So maybe the theme is sort of outdated technology as opposed to just devices in general. Because even though I referenced my alarm clock going off this morning, it wasn't an alarm clock. It was my phone. And my pedometer, to the extent that I use a pedometer, which is rarely, is also my phone. Also, you know, again, to the extent that I use a compass, which is not often, but when I do, it's my phone. Um, I've never owned a Rolodex, but I do have a phone that has all my contacts in it. And I wouldn't buy a camcorder these days because I could simply use my phone. Um, I don't think my phone could be a Cosmo. So maybe, maybe it can't do everything. But I wonder if that's the theme. Anyway, home of the NBA's jazz is Utah. Japanese comics style would be manga. And to do penance is to atone. Shapes of most sugar lumps. They're mostly cubes. You don't see sugar cubes as often anymore. I remember growing up, my, uh, my grandparents' home, they always had a bowl of sugar cubes. You don't see that very often. I wonder why. Uh, anyway, I guess it's because, I suppose one reason actually is probably commercial. It's probably that we take so much coffee and tea f- from coffee shops and they tend to have sugar, I guess for sanitary reasons, in self-contained um, little packets rather than um, you know a bowl of cubes or even a bowl of loose sugar. And I wonder if that just generally made loose sugar granules that seem like the normal way that sugar is added to coffee? I don't know. Just a guess. I have absolutely no idea if that's the case. Anyway, uh, bona fides credentials. Um, here we have profession for many an MIT grad. Um, it's a Massachusetts, in- Massachusetts Institute of Technology graduate. Uh, many of them would be an engineer. And here we have aisle, window, or middle on a plane. Those are all seats on a plane. And of course, because this is an or clue, not an and clue, it is singular, not plural. So we're only referring to the aisle, the window, or the middle, not all of them. Okay. Oh, there's the, I just saw the revealer pop up, but let's quickly answer this first. To goof up is to err, and she may take your temp before tucking you in. Oh, Dr. Mom, I guess this is. And the temp is indicating temperature. Well, well, obviously the temp is indicating temperature. Sorry. What I mean to say is the temp is indicating an abbreviated form of a word. And so in the answer, we will also abbreviate something. And in this case, I suppose both doctor and the DR and mom are both sort of abbreviated or contracted forms of their full words for doctor and mother. And anyway, I suppose Dr. Mom would take your temp before tucking you in. Uh, so yeah, sure. Fair enough. Okay. Anyway, here's the revealer. What um, It says device that can replace 16, 23, 37, 40, and 51 across. And it is a smartphone. So indeed, that is the theme. It is that your smartphone has made obsolete or at least nearly obsolete um, most or all of these devices, I suppose some more than others. Rolodex, I would say, is probably entirely obsolete, whereas I'm sure there are still, there's still call for a compass. If you were really doing a serious um, outdoor expedition, you'd probably want a real compass that doesn't rely on batteries or anything like that. Um, so there's a, there's a bit of a spectrum here, but uh, I think I think for most of us, largely true. Smartphone has replaced these five devices. Okay, Kylo Blank of Star Wars. Kylo Ren is a character from the recent Star Wars films. And Do, Re, Mi, etc. are notes. That's the solfege system of naming musical notes of a particular scale. Four of these make a gallon. Uh, Is it quartz? Actually, (laughs) despite living most of my life in the United States, I never really learned this system because I find it so confusing compared to the metric system. So I think maybe, I think four quarts must make a a gallon. Okay. Repeated verbatim. uh, Quoted. And hello. Oh, I see. It's you who. So it's a slightly quaint uh, call to somebody. A hurricane or a typhoon is a storm. A high IQ group could be Mensa. And I don't remember what this stands for. Someone told me in 
someone told me in a comment a few months ago, and I remember only that the actual explanation of the meaning of Mensa is not what the obvious, what you'd think it might be. I think it didn't have anything to do with mental or something like that, so I'm not even going to attempt to guess what it is. As I keep saying, if I don't guess it, I can't be corrected. Although now that I've said I don't know what it is, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, it's going to be explained to me anyway, which is fine. Um, guesstimate words or so, you could say uh, five or so. And a classical theater is an Odeon. And then let's just check this. Muscat's land is Oman, so that looks correct. And that's the Monday puzzle. And that jingle is back, so it did did take effect after I after I turned it back on yesterday. Or was it the day before? I can't even remember. I think it was yesterday. Anyway, that's the that's the puzzle. So we had a nice, as as expected, a nice gentle theme for a Monday, and it's in, in keeping with generally speaking how, what we would expect on a Monday, the first puzzle of the week and intended to be the easiest. It's not the sort of theme that you need to, um, that you need to fully understand before completing the puzzle. We can complete the puzzle without ever, um, without ever solving the theme. I suppose we would sort of have to solve the theme in order to solve the revealer. Um, but you can read the revealer as, you know, in its own right. Uh, it's a device that can replace all these things, a smartphone. Um, and there we have it. That's the Monday puzzle. Pretty straightforward, I think. Um, it didn't give me much resistance. I mean, even in the cases of of things that were a little bit outside my, I don't know, confident body of knowledge, um, there were a reasonable number of crosses that made things um, made things come together. You'd probably know at least one of Dinar or Lil Nas X. That's, that, that sort of thing, I guess, is what I mean. Um, but there are plenty of crosses around it anyway. Uh, I, I just bring that up because it's a case of two proper nouns crossing. And when proper nouns cross, that's always a potential bit of challenge. Similarly, Oman and Mensa. I don't know. Yeah, there, there, were, there were a few of those, but it happens. Kermit and Ozark. Anyway, I'm not going to list all of those. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> that's the puzzle for today. I hope you enjoyed it. So on that note, what about the puzzle from yesterday? We have some comments uh, we have some comments there to correct my uh, silly mistakes. And what are they? So, ZOR95 gives a bit more context about Avogadro's number. Number. So, I was um, I remember that Avogadro's number number defines the number of things in a mole, and ZOR95 clarifies that that number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. It's defined as the number of things of a particular atom or molecule needed to weigh its atomic or molecular mass in grams. For example, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon-12 containing 6 protons and 6 neutrons will weigh exactly 12 grams. Carbon-12, 6 protons, and 6 neutrons. So that's interesting. I'm sure I learned that at some point and did not retain the knowledge. So thank you for explaining that. This is a bit embarrassing. Michelle McBride Charpentier says, Valentine's Day is the 14th, not the 13th, so it's really not a pro an appropriate secret word. Whoops. Um, yeah, I, I just sort of, because the puzzle was so Valentine's Day themed, I thought, oh, well, it must be Valentine's Day, and I didn't really think very hard about it, and I said an incorrect thing, as I often do. Kathleen Quinn says, the New York Times notes on this Sunday puzzle indicate that the author had submitted it last year for when Valentine's Day fell on a Sunday. However, Will Shorts informed him that somebody else had beat him to it, so they ran it this year instead. Fair enough. And, oh, I, I suppose that's, is that it? Um, let me just double check, sorry. I don't, uh, oh yeah, I, I missed a few, I'm sorry. So Kathy Swope says, my understanding of the meaning of salient matched yours. So I was thinking of salient as being particularly relevant or material. But Kathy says, Webster's defines it as noticeable, remarkable, prominent, outstanding, or conspicuous with noticeable first. So salient, noticeable. I should keep that in mind, that distinction. So thank you for that, Kathy. And uh, Tamar Dolev explains that A-Rod dated J-Lo for many years, so absolutely was part of gossip columns. So there we have it. That's why that's why A-Rod was a nickname in both baseball and gossip comments. Regarding the word hike, which uh, was defined as up in this crossword, 
The F and Crow says, think up as a verb to up prices, to hike prices. That is indeed, the, th that's the example I needed. I kept thinking of things like hike up your pants or something in which hike doesn't mean up. It needs to be combined with up in order to create the particular meaning. But yes, if you up prices, you could hike prices and that, that works. So thank you. And um, I think that might be, that might be all of them. All right, there we have it. Well, thank you for watching. And I will be back, of course, tomorrow for the Tuesday crossword. If you subscribe to the channel, you will see that Tuesday crossword video a bit more easily. So do consider doing that. Do please subscribe if you enjoy this series and uh, consider recommending it to a friend. Pass it along either one-to-one -one or on your, through your online community of choice. And that's, uh, those are really the ways that I have to help grow the channel. Uh, so thank you to everybody who has done any of those things. And of course, thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level uh, for any time. And again, I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you will join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.